Hello everyone, welcome back to my video tutorials for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So today I'm going to show you how to use the SRA toolkit to download the sequencing data from NCBI. I'm going to use the GCSE 132771 dataset for the demonstration again. In my first video tutorial, I showed you how to download the gene expression data for this dataset. But uh, sometimes we need the raw data. For example, if you want to perform RNA velocity analysis, you need the raw data to create the spliced and unspliced mRNA loom files. So you can see down here the raw data are available in SRA. So we can click the SRA run selector. If you click this link, you will find the raw sequencing data. So you can see from here all the raw sequencing data in this data set are here. So you can see here has the sequencing data for each SRA run. You can see in this data set, there are mouse data set. I normally use the human non-sequencing data for my video demonstration. So you can see the size difference in each SRA run. You can see for the mouse data, majority of sequencing raw data are smaller than 5G. So you can directly click the link and download the data. You don't have to use SRA toolkits for sequencing data smaller than 5G. We can try download the first one. Let's click the link. You can see from here, you have a link to download the fast Q or fast A files if you click it. You can see we select the first one. The total base are 2.4G. If you want to fast A files, you can click the fast A link. If you want to download the fast Q file, you can click the fast Q file. We can click the fast Q file. So you can see my computer start to download the this raw sequencing data as the fast Q files. So as I mentioned, you can only use the link to download the data smaller than 5G. If the data is bigger than 5G, you have to use SRA toolkits. So we can go back to do the demonstration. So now, if we click a human sequencing data set, for example, the first one, you can see this data set is bigger than 5G. Let's click the link. You still have the fast A and the fast Q down node link. Let's click it. Now you can see the sequencing data exceed the down node limit 5G. So you have to use SRA toolkit to download the data bigger than 5G. So now we can go to SRA toolkit and show you how to use SRA toolkit to download the raw sequencing data. So you can see here is the GitHub page for the SRA tools. On the left hand side, you have all the links to show you how to download the SRA toolkit install it and uh, how to use it. You can see the first link is downloading SRA toolkit. We can have a look. You can see here you have all the links for different uh, computer system, Linux, Mac, Windows. So I'm using Windows, so I will uh, download this one. You can use the link from here to download the toolkit for your system. The second link is for the installation. 
You can see here, show you how to install the SI toolkit key on your computer. Here, you also have the link for the Windows, Mac. So I'm going to download the toolkit for Windows. We can connect it. You can see my computer is downloading the SRA toolkit. So we can go to my download folder. You can see we downloaded the SRA toolkit for Windows. So we need to unzip it. I'm going to unzip it here. So you can see we have the SRA toolkit. We can Connect the folder and have a look. All the SRA functions are in the bin folder. We can connect and have a look. You can see here are all the functions you can use. We are going to use the prefetch function and also the pastql dump function. So we downloaded the SRA toolkit. Next step, you need to install it on your computer. We can have a look at how to install it. You can see here, we already downloaded the files and also unzipped the file. I unzipped the file in my download folder. So next step, we can run the cmd function. So let's run the cmd on the computer. You can see Let's run. So you can see we started the command shell. At the moment, I'm in the Windows and the System 32 folder. I showed you, I unzipped the files in my download folder. So we need to change the file directory. You can use the cd function. So you can see I'm going to the SRA toolkit, the bin folder. As all the functions are in the bin folder, you can see here, you need to unzip the file and also go into the bin folder. Let's change the file directory. You can see now I'm in the bin folder. Once you change the, your file directory to the bin folder, then you can do the quick configuration. And also you can do a test to see if the toolkit is functional on your computer. So for the test, you can run this code here. We can copy the code. Then run in the command shell. Let's run. OK, you can see from the instruction, I got the same result as it showed on the instructions. So I installed the SRA toolkit on my computer. So actually, you don't need to change anything here. You can use the default settings to download the raw sequencing data from NCBI. But for more advanced usage, you can run the quick toolkit configuration. Let's have a look at the configuration guidance. You can see. The third one is the quick toolkit configuration. We can have a look. So this is a very simple version. If you have a look here, the first one is the cloud credentials. I'm not going to show you how to use cloud computers, but if you do use it, you can have a look here how to use Amazon and Google cloud computers. The fifth one is also toolkit configuration. Here has more details. We can have a look at this one. So you can see if you run the code here for configuration, we can get a screen. Let's copy this code and run it. OK, now you can see this screen. You can use the tab key to move. It around. You can see at the moment it's on save. If we press the tab T, it moves to exit. Then next one is discard. Then default settings. We want to go to the main. You can see the default setting enabled the remote access. 
We need to enable remote access to download the raw sequencing data from NCBI. If you want to change the files location, you can go to the cache. If we have a look here, you can see you can change the files location. So I'm not going to change it here. We use the default settings. Once you know how to download the data, then you can try to change the file location from here. So this one is for Amazon Cloud Computer. Here is for the Google Cloud Computer. So we can just click the default settings to show you how to download the data from NCBI today. So we can move back to the exit. So you can see we go through the toolkit configuration. Next one is the collection timeout. It's good to set the collection time because the NCBI website is so busy. You can see we can scroll down to the bottom. You can see here. We can set the timeout to 10 seconds. Let's copy this code and uh, run it. So we set the timeout as 10 seconds. So next, you can see we can start to use the prefetch and the fast queue dump function to download the fast queue files. We can have a look at. Here. So first we use prefetch plus the SRA link files number. Then we can download the data. So I'm going to use this sequencing data for the demonstration. So the SRA run number is 9304758. So we can use the prefetch function plus the SRA run number. Let's run it. So you can see my computer start to download the data. It takes two or three minutes. So we can have a look at my folder for the SRA toolkit. So you can see now we have a folder named the SRR930. 4758. This is the folder to save the sequencing data. Let's have a look. You can see at the moment the computer is downloading the data. You have three files here. After it finished the downloading, you only have this file in this folder. We can go back to the command shell. You can see it is still downloading. Okay, you can see we successfully downloaded the data. Now if you have a look at the folder, you can see we only have one file. But at the moment, it is a SRA file. It's not a fast queue file. So we need to use the fast queue dump function to extract the data. So you need the internet to run the prefetch function. But once you download the data, you don't need uh, the internet. You can just run the fast dump function. We need to use this function plus the, the SRA run number. Then we can extract the SRA file as a fast queue file. Let's run this function. You can see it is running again. Because I'm using the default settings, all the data will be downloaded and also extracted in the current directory, the bin folder. You can see in this folder, we are running the fast queue dump function and it is extracting the sequencing data. Once it finished, this folder will disappear. We will have a fast kill file in this folder. So now we can go back to the command shell again. You can see it is still running. 
Okay, you can see we finished the files extraction. So you can see the support rate, read rate, read writing, and the technical read numbers from here. And also, you can see in my folder, the temporary folder is disappeared. We have a SQL file for this sequencing data set. So we successfully downloaded the fast queue sequencing data from NCPI. So I showed you uh, the default settings. It is uh, easier for you to begin with. You can try to download the SRA toolkit and uh, install it on your computer. Then you can run the default functions. Once you are able to download the sequencing data, then you can start to change the files directory, save the sequencing data in a different folder. So that's my demonstration today. I hope you will be able to use the SRA toolkit to download the raw sequencing data from NCBI. I'm going to stop from here for today's demonstration. Thank you for watching my video tutorials.